Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel Applied Forensic Research Sciences. I am Ayush Mittal, volunteer of AFRS, going to discuss something about on the topic crimes in documentation. So please be present with us till the end. Hope you will learn something new. So in crimes and documentation we are going to learn about the six things first as about the introduction of the topic note making photography videography sketching and the forensic significance of crimes and documentation so now let's move to the next part crimes and documentation is the process of recording the crime scene with the every single bit of information possible it includes a thorough investigation it is done by the investigating officers it includes certain steps such as note making photography videography sketching etc it also includes the details of the surroundings the statements made by the witnesses and also the evidence location position etc crimes in documentation helps in the court proceedings and decision making it is very necessary to maintain the chain of custody so now let's learn about the first step of the crime scene documentation that is note making the notes are taken as the activities and completed to prevent the possible memory loss if notes are made at a later time accurate crime scene note taking is a crucial part of initial investigation notes can be used to pre prepare a more formal written report later it is a written form of report which can be used in courts which can be used by police officers for the later investigation actually the written form gives any investigating officer or any person reading it giving them the overall idea of the crime scene it includes the w's and that are who when why what etc the note making includes the notification information that is what was the day date and time of the crime happened what was the arrival information that includes the in that includes the details about the investigating officers like how they went there what was the mode of transportation how many personnel were present there it in includes the scene description like how was the weather at that time what was the temperature when the investigating officer reached the crime scene what was the location what was the actual condition of the crime scene it also includes the victim description like the victim position the victim clothing victim wound or any identification marks found in the body of the victim it also include the information about the crime scene team at what time they enter at what time they exit and so on all investigators should ensure that their notes support all the statements made in the final report so now let's move to the next step which is photography as we all know what is photography photography is basically capturing any movement or clicking any pictures but crimes in photography it's little bit different it basically includes capturing photographs only but the capturing the photograph of crime scene should be with more carefulness by the investigator purpose of photography documentation of crime scene is to provide a true and accurate pictorial record of crime scene and physical evidence it serves as a permanent record for legal concerns photographs for of the crime scene should be taken from different location from different position and from different angles by the photographer so that the every single bit of information of the crime scene can be captured on photographs which can be used to present in front of the court there are three types of photography overall photography as the name suggests it includes the capturing of the crime scene from a overall view it includes the capturing of the crime scene including its boundaries and surroundings it includes the capturing the photograph from outside to inside and from inside to outside here in the overall photography the focus is not on a single or individual evidence instead the focus is on the whole crime scene here are some pictures showing the crime scene from outside and its surrounding next photography is mid range photography as the name suggests mid range so 
this photography shows the spatial relationship between evidence and victim body so here as an overall photography we were capturing the whole crime scene but in mid range photography the photographs will capture only 2 to 3 evidence or the evidence present near the body present near the body so that they can establish a relationship between the victim and the evidences from which we can get a idea about the sequence of the events that would happen in the crime scene at that time which should depicts the background view measurement and exact position of the evidence here are two images showing the mid range photography as we can see the few blood patterns present there weapon present here phone battery shoes present here from which we can get an overall idea about what would have happened in the crime scene at that time now net let's move to the next type of photography which is close up photography and here clearly the name shows us like it's focusing it's capturing the photograph by focusing on the object or subject so this photography clearly show all the features and markings of the individual or the evidence holds each image is captured twice once with scale and second without scale indicating its dimensions closer photography is basically taken to get the detailed information about the single evidence the scales which are used to take photographs in closer photography are used to provide the viewer with an idea of the size of a mark or an impression they also allow an examiner to enlarge the photo to its natural size for comparison purposes without a scale it is difficult to compare the characteristic of such evidence as marks or impressions so it is necessary to capture the close up photography with or without the scale here are the two images of the close up photography of the weapon with and without the scale next step of the crime scene documentation is videography videography is the new involved step in the crime scene documentation which actually is the great innovative idea because it includes both note making and the photography its acceptance in the court is widespread due to the 3d portrayal of the scene and increased availability of the affordable equipments it is advanced method of documenting the crime scene Forensic videography is a specialized field of video production that focuses on documenting physical evidence found at the crime scene. The goal of the forensic videographer is to capture the high resolution images and 3D representations of evidence as such as fingerprint, footprints, various tool marks found in the crime scene, about the victim body, about the evidence locations and etc. And as the video graphy of the crime scene gives a general overview of the scene and the surrounding area continue throughout the scene using wide angle and close up views to show the layout of the scene location of evidence and the relevance of evidence within the crime scene is actually helpful for the investigator and also for the court to make any decision the last and final step of the crime scene documentation is sketching once photographs and videographs have been taken the crime scene investigator sketches the scene the sketch serves many important function in the legal investigation of a crime if done correctly a sketch can clearly show the layout of an indoor or outdoor crime scene and the relationship in space of all the items and features significant to the investigation sketches are especially important to illustrate the location of collected evidence possible paths of entry exit and movement through the scene may be speculated from a good sketch the investigator may have neither the skill nor the time to make a polished sketch of the scene at that time only but however this is not required during the early phase of the investigation what is necessary is a rough sketch containing an accurate depic depiction of the dimensions of the scene and showing the location of all the objects having a bearing on the case this may be achieved through the use of a sketching kit a rough sketch 
should shows all the recovered items of physical evidence as well as other important features of the crime scene objects should be located in the sketch by distance measurement from two fixed point such as walls of a room distance shown on the sketch must be accurate and not the result of a guess or estimate for this reasons all measurements are made with a tape measure the simplest way to des designate an item in a sketch is to assign it a number or letter a legend or list placed below the sketch then correlates the letter to the item's description the sketch should also show a compass bidding designating north as well as a title block designating the location of the crime scene and any case information unlike the rough sketch the finished sketch should be constructed with care and concern for aesthetic appearance when the finished sketch is completed it must reflect information contained within the rough sketch in order to be admissible evidence in a courtroom computer aided drafting that is cad has become the norm to reconstruct the crime scene from rums rough, rough sketches the software ranging from simple low cost program to complex expensive programs contains pre drawn inter intersections and roadways or buildings and rooms onto which information can be entered a generous symbol library provides the operator with a variety of images that can be used to add intricate details such as blood spatters to a crime scene sketch there are three techniques to for use for the sketching method first a strangulation method a sketching method that requires measuring the distance of an object along a straight line from two widely separated fixed reference point second method is the baseline method this is a sketching method that makes measurement along and from a single reference line called a baseline which can be established by using a length of string a chalk line or some convenient means and the last method for the sketching is the polar coordinates method which use a sliding device to establish an azimuth reading from a known point to the evidence this is combined with a linear measurement between the two points effectively fixing the item in the scene here are the two images showing the sketching first is rough sketch if you will see it carefully it includes the dimensions also but when you will look to the final sketch it doesn't include the dimensions it only includes the actual crime scene and also the description of the crime scene so this is about the sketching of the crime scene documentation so now let's move to the forensic significance of crime scene documentation the purpose of documentation is to permanently record the condition of crime scene and its physical evidence it helps to maintain the chain of custody this record proves useful during subsequent investigations and also required for presentation at a trial in order to show the condition of crime scene and the location of physical evidence and sometimes it happens that the case sometimes go for years and the investigating officers in duty often fall, forgets the information about the crime scene so this record of documentation helps to give them a re refresh memory for the further investigation thank you that's all about the crime scene documentation hope you have learned something new from our video